everyone welcome back to my channel again today i hope you are all doing great so if you're coming here for the first time this is relationship and talent clinic with lola so please i want to beg for a favor if you haven't subscribed to my channel help your sister to grow hit the red button there to subscribe also activate the bell to always get my notification all right before i introduce today's topic i want to go on a short break when i come back the topic and the talk of today will be we are just tuning in this is relationship and talent clinic with lola please don't mind my eyes the way it looks some little eye challenges but doesn't matter okay right thank you if you're just coming in i said um it is relationship and talent clinic with Ron. okay before i went on a short break i said i was going to introduce the topic immediately i come in so we're back so the topic i want to treat today is don't date whom you can't marry don't date whom you can't marry so that person you see and you don't see future with him or her don't go in with this person. Don't date for a game. Don't play a game. Date can never be a game. Unless I think a boy-girl relationship, which I don't encourage here. But if you're matured enough, you want to delve into a relationship, don't play a game. Look at him, look at her. Assuming future has something good for you and him, with him or her rather, would you go? Do you see him as a future husband? Do you picture her as a future wife? So, if you look at this person, you can't go into marriage with this person. I'm not saying you must marry whom you dated. No, that's what I'm saying. But at least, as you're dating this person, bear it in mind that anything can happen. As soon as something happens, can you marry this person? So, reason I say don't date whom you can marry. I want to go you know for some messages i have here let's see what they say and how we're gonna treat it how we're gonna handle it and how it's gonna or how it is affecting our relationship life this one says um okay wait i'm not gonna say name please but i mean for this my idea of them rather are gonna be hidden so this one says um Lolo, i've been in a relationship with this guy for the past three years yeah three good years now and you know this guy hasn't even for once mentioned to me that he's not gonna marry me. Yeah. All my hope was that we're gonna get married. But I just saw a message on his phone which he sent to one girl, I guess his other girlfriend out there, that he is only playing games with me. That the girl should just be patient with him and the manage the situation of things now that in a no little time he's gonna dismiss me and they will definitely get married yeah so this is from one of my clients she just sent a message of what she just saw on her fiance's phone you see what i'm saying but why guys why i would you keep a girl three good years three you've not told her your intentions you kept her you dating her and all her mind from her message from the way she sounds on the message do i've tried to communicate her i've tried to talk to her i've tried to cancel her you know i've tried to bring her mind down but then three good years three years a year passed you never said anything positive to her second year passed you never said anything positive to her third year now you still haven't told her what you have is talk for her you're still keeping her and you're going behind her to date, pamper and pet, and keep whom you're going to marry. You're going to move into marriage with. This isn't fair. Guys, guys, hey guys, if you've brought any lady in your life, you're dating her, you know you're not going to marry her. First year is enough to tell her you don't mean something good for her. Let her go. Second year, for any reason, you can't tell her in that first year. Second year is enough to tell her see good wow I, I i tried to study you but i've seen that things can't go well with two of us we can't afford that yeah let her go let her go don't waste anybody's time for crying out loud guys please don't waste their time and this particular lady i'm talking about age is no longer on her side 
So you've wasted two more years again out of her age already. Wasted. So please, you know, you know, I'm not forcing you to get married to any lady you have in your life. So when you date, you date to study. Yeah, we actually date to study. So why on this institution of cat shape, you discover you can't go? Amicably sorry that I won't let the person go. You know, keeping her for three more years, adding to her age already, and nothing positive is coming out of it. It is not good. It's, 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 it's not proper. Some of them can go so bitter and, and, and do anything whatsoever to harm you. It happens. We've had a case like that. You know, it happens. We've had a case like that. This lady went as far as going diabolically to make sure that when this guy got married, he had no peace, no child. Let's not go there. So please. Okay, yeah. Let's read this coming from a lady this time. No, a guy talking about a lady. Okay, this says. Hi, Lola, please hide my ID and throw it with caution. I have this lady. I love her so much. I love her. I love their family. You know, I've been dating her for this is just three years now. By August 10, we'll make it two years anniversary we met. But then the issue is that she hasn't accepted my proposal, but she is still in my life. I actually threatened and asked her to move out of my life. She doesn't want to accept my proposal. But she said, no, she, she, she's going to say something. I should give her time. And I want to ask, how much time should I still give someone that has been in my life for the past two years? And I've been mentioning this issue since a year ago. What do you think I do? Should I keep keeping her or tell her my mind? And I asked him, what is in your mind? And he said, I want to drop her. I want to quit. I want to dismiss this relationship. I can't be in suspense asking someone for proposal, someone I love for the past one year. All right, you heard her, right? You heard him, rather. So he has proposed. He's over a year now, and the lady is yet to say yes and no. So he's asking, should I keep his grandma, should I keep keeping her? And my answer is no, capital no. Second question, or should I tell her my mind? Yes, capital yes. Tell her your mind. I ask, what is your mind? I want to quit her. Yes. I totally support this. Why would you be keeping someone for the past, okay, two years, but the proposal has taken one year, and she hasn't said anything. She hasn't given you any response. No positive, no negative. That means there's something fishing. She has a skeleton in her cupboard. Yeah, I said so. She has a skeleton in her cupboard for one year proposal. You can't say no, you can't say yes. What are you thinking about? What do you want to think about? What do you want to find out? You've not found out for the past one year. So I've asked the guy categorically, quit her. You love her so much, but she doesn't want you as a husband. So you can't bring in someone that doesn't want to marry you in the house because if love is coming from only one side, it doesn't work. All right, yeah, I guess we must have learned one other thing from these two people I have on my phone today. The first guy, you kept someone for two years and you're cheating on her. You don't want to tell her the truth. You don't want her, you don't want to let her know. Please, guys, don't do this. It's wrong. The lady, someone proposed. One year is enough for you to say yes and no. If you don't want him, let him go. Don't keep him, don't play games. That's what I'm preaching. Okay, yeah. Right, hush. I just want to teach us something so I don't get it wrong. Yeah, I don't get it wrong. Okay, so if you get it right now, you enjoy your relationship. And if you manage to delve into marriage, you're going to enjoy it. All right? Thank you for listening. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'll say it again. Please help me hit the red button there to subscribe. Help your sister to grow. Till I come your way again next time, stay safe.